Hey, Hebrew fans. This is Todd. And as many of you guys know, I uh, got this really cool Spider Woman uh, two pack scroll pack, and here she is right here. And I was really happy with her, except for one thing. And that was, I bought her not to be a scroll, but I actually bought her to be my Spider Woman figure because she's an amazing Spider, amazing Spider Woman, amazing Spider Woman. And she came with uh, these fist hands, hoo hoo, and she came with these sparkly green power hands, which of course are the hands for when she's in her super scroll mode. And I thought, okay, that's no big deal. I'll just find uh, another figure to find some cool hands for. So um, without too much thinking about it, I bought this Spider-Woman figure here, which is very cool looking too. And I had uh, these hands right here that I stuck on Spider-Woman. But even though they're cool, they're open. And I really wanted hands that could hold accessories like maybe a sword or something, or Spider-Man or a book or a laptop or a computer, whatever it is, iPhone, I don't care. I want holding hands. So I decided to start looking for figures that were yellow with hands that could hold things, that could close. And so of course I decided to focus on Marvel Legends because that's the, the figures that, that she's from. So uh, it's kind of a funny story. So I went on Big Bad Toy Store and started searching for female figures that I could use that had open hands that were yellow. So first I found this three pack here. Ooh ah, uh, the three pack. You'll notice no open hands. Like what, what? See, you got a closed hand there, you got a closed hand there, Cl or open hand, so open hand there, open hand there. It's like, okay, well it makes sense with Storm and maybe Jubilee, cause you know, they, they use their their powers and stuff. Okay, that makes makes sense. I could see that. So then I found this other three pack here, and hey, look at that, a closed hand. That's cool. But only one closed hand because she happens to hold something in her hand, like this this cool power sword that's made from her powers for Psyche. And uh, um, but again, you have to buy all three figures to get the one yellow hand. One yellow hand. And she also comes with a karate chop hand. Karate chop, hoyo! And so there you go. Those are the hands she comes with. Um, the fist, open, and karate chop. And that's it. So then I found this figure here. Now granted it's not yellow, but it's white. And I started wondering, are there any other female characters I could just buy and paint it yellow? And sure enough, she has open hands, and she has fist hands. Ah, oh, no closed hands. So then I found Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen, of course, is not yellow, but it's still a spider figure. It does have the web shooting hand, which would be a cool hand to get. But again, um, no closed hands, or no, no, no gripping hands that could actually hang on to like He-Man's sword or, any, or a bag of stuff or anything. And so then I saw this figure here and same thing, open hands and fist hands. Another figure, open hands, fist hands. Another figure, open hands and magic twinkly finger hands. And again, no, no holding hands. Found this figure here and her hands are pretty small for her the size of this figure i was kind of surprised about how small they made the itty bitty hands they almost look out of place because it's so strange with the big sleeves but again wait 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 did i call that wrong oh she no it's a fist never mind i thought it was a holding hand but it's a fist never mind close call then we have this figure here she only comes with one set of hands and she's already wearing them so no holding hands there. Now, this figure here, she does have a holding hand right here because it's made to hold her bow for shooting bows and arrows. So that makes sense that she would have that particular hand, the new female Hawkeye. I guess it's just Hawkeye. I want to get canceled because I added the word female in front. It's the young Hawkeye. There we go. The new young Hawkeye. And then this figure, which I was planning on buying because she'd make a great robot woman for the He-Man group. And uh, again, fist hands, open hands, not what I'm looking for. This figure, fist hands, open hands, again, can't hold anything. This figure here, surprise, surprise, she has open hands and she has fist hands 
and she has grasping hands yay but again um, only because she has to hold the masks so if the figure has to hold something then they'll give her hands of some sort to hold here we have another rogue and again we have open hands fist hands oh this figure's so cool looking but again fist hands open hands and those open hands are so weird looking i mean look 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 at look at gwen here now gwen does have a closed uh, hand you can use for um grip, gripping stuff which is cool but look how just bizarre this this hand is it's just so strange looking and they all get this weird kind of hand oops where the fingers are just kind of sprawled out and it really doesn't do any good at all i remember when my uh, kids were little um, we, used to, we used to play G.I. Joe's with them, the 12-inch ones. And one of my sons wanted the Disney um, Ken. And Disney Ken had his hand like this. And that was it. So he's good for shaking hands or giving a, a tip to somebody. But he couldn't hold any weapons. So we always had to take and rubber band all of the accessories for G.I. Joe into Ken's hand to make it work. You know, so I, I feel kind of almost like that. It's like, no. So... Just trying to find yellow hands for my spider woman is becoming quite the task. All right, so let's continue on with our quest for yellow hands. So here we have Mrs. Fantastic, Invisible Woman herself, and she has open hands, the weird sprawled ones that are really strange looking, and closed hands. Makes sense, she has powers, but then again, what if she wanted to hang onto a beaker or wanted to hang onto some science equipment? <clears throat> you can't be a scientist anymore. Then we have this figure here. This figure has a gun, and so she has a trigger finger hand. So she can just, you know, pretend to shoot, that's about it. But she actually has a trigger shooting hand on both sides. You can interchange it to whatever side you want. Um, then we have um, the children of the Fantastics, and uh, he comes right off the bat. Oops. Ah. Now I need to go back into my where I'm at. There we are. He comes with um, hands that are grasping on the figure. Because it's a male figure, so they figure, okay, he's got to have grasping hands because he's a male figure. And he comes with beakers. He could be a scientist too. Look at that. And he has punching hands. Ooh. And she has uh, weird grasping hands that are too big to grasp. And then she has trigger hands and she has fists. So she can hold guns and shoot but no grasping for everything else. And really, these hands are for the computer terminal there she hangs on to. So I think the fingers are more for tapping on the keys there. And then we have this figure. Now, I almost bought this figure because she's so cool looking. And uh, I, just, I, just, I just really like the way she looks with her belt and her kneecaps and the coloring they have and the cool short jacket and the black hair. It's just cool. But again, open crazy hands and fist hands, no no grasping hands. Now this figure here, um, Domino, she does have grasping hands with a little bit of finger sticking out for triggering because she comes with double Uzis with a knife or something on front too because you need a knife in case you run out of bolts with your Uzi, I guess. So there you go, Domino. And then we have this figure here, the female Siren, and she has Again, wrestling, gripping hands, and then two fist hands. And dun 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 dun. I finally found one, and it was on sale at Big Bad Toy Store that has one, two, three, four, five, six hands, and you have gripping hands, fist hands, weird, crazy hands. And uh, I was really glad to find her. Now, unfortunately, I stuck in this rogue figure in my cart before I realized she didn't have fist hands. And uh, the way that Big Bad Toy Store works, if you don't get it sent to you within so much time, they'll just mail it out to you. But she is a really cool looking figure, so I'm probably going to keep her anyway. Because I, I really like, it sounds funny, I really like her hair. But yeah, she is a cool looking figure, so she is going to stick around. So, now that I have my yellow hands now they're not exactly quite the same shade of yellows are more orangish but we'll see how they fit on there and how they look 
Uh, maybe it won't be too noticeable. It's quite a little bit different. I may have to put a wash on them to make them more orangish looking. But let's let's try it out now that I have spent forever and a day trying to find yellow hands. Hasbro, just give us a giant hand pack of female hands. All different colors and shades for all the figures you have sent us throughout the years that have non-grasping hands. Because non-grasping hands don't make for very good action figures. And, oh, look at this. I got some, some parts for a giant bear. Oh, oh, oh. Now you can see I used the giant bear head on this custom I made. There he is. And I used an, uh, a red wash on his head because you can see the original brown just would not match. And, uh, and now I have a body. Body, body, body. Oh, look at that. Click a tat. And this goes up on top just like that. So it's the same, same, it's not the same. It's not the same body. No way. All this time I thought this body was the exact same. Oh, of course it can't be the same because it has a head peg. On mine, ugh, I had to make my own head peg. That's right, I forgot about that. So I had to make this head peg here that I 3D printed um, that goes in this piece here. Fit, fit. And then had to go down into the neck of this one. There we go. Because obviously this one has the right peg. But you know what? I, I actually like this body better. I don't like this. It's like his belly's swollen. So I'm, I'm glad I went with the other body. Because I'm just not a fan of this one, how it looks. Look at his buttocks. He's, he's got like, like furry shorts like regular He-Man figures. Okay. Now I know the body's different. The USSR. All right. Eh. There's got to be stuff I can use for this for custom. I will set it aside for now. And let's get her hands out of here. Now I'm probably not going to keep this figure because I can really care less about this character. Even though she is cool looking. But I just want her for her hands. And let's... Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. A little bit of a letdown, but because they don't match exactly, but of course they weren't made for her, so that's why they don't match exactly. But that is cool. Now she has gripping hands. So all I have to do now is find yellow webbing hands but I think I think I have no well, I guess I don't why didn't she come with webbing hands oh well. but that is better at least now she can hold stuff give me your whip ha I can now whip people before I could not ha 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 okay so why is this important Okay, you may be asking yourself, why, Todd, are you making such a big deal about all this? Well, the reason I am, as you guys know, I collect classics. And all the classics have gripping hands. So you can hang onto swords, and you can have staffs, and you can have all kinds of cool, cool, coolness. And uh, you just can't do that kind of stuff if you don't have a figure of gripping hands. And, and... I'm the kind of person, I don't just sit them on the shelf and have them sit there forever. I actually like to use my action figures and pose them and do stop motion and all kinds of other cool fun stuff. And if they don't have a way to hang on to accessories, you can't do that kind of stuff. They should place these wing holes in just the weirdest place for those webs. They should have put it a little further back on the arm. Oh well. So, now she can fit in with the rest of the figures and hold accessories and do cool stuff. Ha! 
this is such a cool custom. I, this this custom I made. I obviously I used uh, one of the heads from the Cuckoo Sisters, Cuckoo Sisters, and uh, then I used uh, the body from uh, one of the Fighting Foe Men, the female, and then the armor is from Tila, and the boots are from Tila, and the staff is from a certain Tila, a different one, and this is from a Tila too, a different Tila, and when you put it all together you got one heck of a cool figure oh, one of my favorites one of my favorite customs she's so cool love the red hair look how cool it looks on there the cuckoo sisters are awesome for their heads to use for customs oh and this choker is from blink i think her name was i stole it from her there we go in case you're wondering where i got that final piece from even Spider Gwen. I mean, look at this. Look, look at her hands. She came with a plethora of hands. I mean, we're talking a lot of hands. So we got, we got um, the webbing hands. Oops. Ugh. The webbing hands, so she can web. We got the punching hands, so she can punch. And then you got the weird cattywampus, strange hands, which I know it's supposed to be like she's crawling up the side of a building, but again, makes kind of sense for her, but. Just look how weird these hands are. What are you guys thinking when you design these hands? I mean, for one particular character, I could see, but when you have a whole bunch of them on your shelf and they all have the same, I mean, why does Gwen Stacy need that hand like that? I mean, what good does that do her at all? It does no good. I mean, look, look at her fingers, how they're laid out. I guess she can go that long. Like, what? What are you talking about, Peter? I suppose she can do that sim look, kind of cock her head to the side like that, shrug her shoulder, and she's ready to punch him. Of course, this is her open, open hand. I think she came with a purse or something, I forget what she came with, but she has something to hang on to. Ugh. I think it's funny how they can go way down on their articulation for their neck. So they have an articulation point right here, and you can make them look at their belly button. I'm just counting my belly button. I have a one, a one belly button right there, right there. <laughs> but they don't really look up too well because her hair's in the way. But she does have the articulation to look up if her hair wasn't in the way. So great work on the way they built that so that she can actually look up. Actually, she can look up a little bit. There we go. Spider Man! See? There, there you can use the hand that way too. She's doing the princess wave from the float. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Anyway, so Hasbro, if you're watching and you're listening, but I doubt you are, please, please, please give us some better female hands. We are tired of these cattywampus weird looking hands you keep giving us. We want hands that can hold things, holding hands so they can hold accessories and weapons and staffs and, um, science equipment and iPads and everything else and we like these hands too they're kind of cool for fighting and gripping and uh, of course we need more spider shooting hands which would be good for other figures any spider figure you release please give us those hands and and just just throw this mold away unless you have a real particular figure for it it just looks crazy when your whole shelf is just filled with that particular hand. All right, let's open up Rogue. Well, you know what? I'm gonna save Rogue for a separate figure or separate video. We'll do her all by herself, all by her lonesome. Oh, look at Black Cat. Black Cat is so cool. Na 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 na. Black Cat. Black Cat. Black Cat. It's funny. I remember I seen this one comic one time, and I think it was called The Women of Peter Parker. And it had uh, a whole bunch of different females throughout his time in the comics. And Black Cat, of course, was one of them. And, of course, Gwen Stacy was one of them. And uh, there was another one that was that, that worked with Jonah Jameson right outside the door where he would run into. And, and of course, they had Mary Jane Watson. Ha! Mary Jane... I just realized Mary Jane that is a term it's used 
uh, for um, what you guys know. I just never dawned on me before. That is crazy funny. Oh man. Okay. Oh, and check out this. I've been making girders. You're like, why are you making girders, you bro? You'll have to wait and see for why the girders. I got a puncher over there being stacked up. Why I'm making girders? Look, they're all rubbery too. Ooh, ah, uh, look at that. Flexible <laughs> girders. So I don't have to ruin any figures so they get hit by them. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to finish my new scene with the girders. Look at all these. Look at that. All right. I did make one out of hard plastic, out of the same gold material that I made that um, piece for that guy for his um, um, Eternia playset for the Viper Tower. And it does have some flex to it. Just not as much as uh, the rubber ones do. Uh, 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 uh. But still, it's, it's kind of cool. Cool, man. Anyway, gritter fun. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. I know it was kind of a long, long video on yellow hands, but it was just crazy. Look, there's a crazy hand again. Crazy hands. Um, why uh, Hasbro does this with all the female figures and the male figures almost always have gripping hands unless you're, unless it's the Hulk the Hulk may or may not have gripping hands but it's just so crazy that the female figures just lack the grip ability in their hands but now my now my spider woman can finally grip things bum 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 she can punch too anyway ooh 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 and she could have already punched. I already had the fist hands. So. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next video. Bye now. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it.